Lewis, first uh, 15 hour flight, chartered flight, tell us about the conditions, how does that help you with uh, preparing for this game? Yeah, obviously a long flight, but uh, we prepared very well. Obviously we got the, all the facilities that we had on that chartered flight to get us ready for the next game. Obviously we had massage tables and stuff in the back, uh, massage guns, um, and like I said, Fabs is giving us recovery and telling us what to do. So we'll make sure we stay in the right, do the right thing at all times. And does that help you hit the ground running when you're obviously here late at night now, but you have a good sleep and then hit the ground running tomorrow? Does that help? Yeah, of course. If you always have a plan, and like I said, it's really good here. Obviously, like I said before, it's a very professional environment, and they know exactly what to do with their plays and know how to keep us at our 100%. So. And reflecting on the first game, obviously, you had a very busy night and a great night uh, in a starting 11 for the Socceroos. Uh, how do you reflect on all of that? Yeah, look, still, still kind of, uh, still unreal. Obviously, a first professional kind of game in a big qualifier match. Um, obviously absolutely buzzing with a 7-0 win and with my performance as well and like I said now we're just going to keep carrying on to Palestine and I think we can do that. Tell us a little bit about what you're going to expect in Kuwait obviously playing Palestine and uh, how does the next few days pan out for you? Obviously we go into every game expecting a hard and a tough game especially like I said I haven't been in Kuwait I'm not sure if any other boys have either but um we're going to come in giving 120%, obviously, because at the end of the day, they're going to come out fighting, giving all they got. Um, but like I said, if we stick to our game plan, we know the ability we have amongst our players, and I think we can get the result.